Tom, it's great catching up with you. And you. Um, I haven't seen you in a while. You were you were in Salt Lake City at our, our Fan X, and we did a small interview there. Yeah, um, I remember that. It was a few years ago now, I think, like two, three years ago. Yeah, but you you look three years younger. I don't know how that works. <laughs> just, uh, just lots of uh, lots of collagen. There you That's go. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations on SAS Red Notice. It, it is such an action packed film. I mean, from beginning to end. Mm. Um, and, and you do such a great job. Tell me a little bit about uh, your character, Declan Smith. I mean, he seems to be a very multi layered character. He is, yeah. It was one of the reasons why I wanted to take the role, really. That he, he's not just a bog standard soldier, and certainly not in terms of the special forces. And I think what I like about him is he ultimately is, is incredibly professional at what he's at his job, and he knows he has a job to do. And at the same time, he's one of these soldiers that's working in the regiment in the special forces that is looking for a way out. Really, he's looking to try and make some money for himself and actually make a career for himself. And he just never expected for these that his best friend, you know, who he deeply cares about and the other direction that he's going on in his career, were going to clash together. And he had to make this, this, uh, this moral decision of whether he's going to betray his friend. Um, so for me, that was the really interesting part. And, you know, the action was one thing, but actually the character and how interesting it would be to play Declan was, was what really drew me to the role. Yeah, it's a nice balance between the athleticism needed to do a character like this and then the emotional um, acrobat type stuff that you have to do. So was there a lot of research you did in in, in soldiering? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you said that, actually, because that's what the kind of roles that always appeal to me is the one where I get to do all the action stuff, which is really fun. But I actually get to tell a really great story of, and delve into a character's mind, you know. Um, so it was a perfect balance for me this movie when it came up and yeah the the research really was so much of it was just talking with Andy McNabb all the time and just any opportunity I had when I was chatting with him I would just start asking questions about what it was like in the special forces like certain missions that I'd read about and stuff and he would tell me all about it and and a lot of the morality problems that soldiers would come up against, you know, where sometimes there might be some mates who were going up against each other, one in the SAS and then one in a private, a private security um, team that would, they'd end up coming up against each other and they knew they were going to come up against each other. Things like that, you know, you just don't realize they're happening all the time in, on, in the world. And that for me, those kind of stories of the humans behind the soldiers really of like trying to find out what was going on in these guys' heads. You have an incredible cast in this. I mean, from, you know, from Sam to, to Ruby to uh, the other Tom, you know, Andy Circus in this. Uh, this must have been an education, uh, you know, in, in different styles of acting for you. Yeah, I mean, I think every, every job I do, I learn something from the actors that I work with, regardless of um, how much they've done, you know, in their careers or whatever. I always learn from, from other actors that I work with. but. I mean, I think the the biggest one for me was was Andy Circus because Andy Circus, in reality, you know, when you meet him, he's like the most down to earth, humble, um, just lovely, lovely human being, you know. And then when the cameras turn on, he just turns into this psychopath, yeah. and he's so intense, and it's brilliant to work against because it, you he actually puts the fear of God into me when he's when he's angry at you on camera. Poor be somewhere else he's he's great and um so it's great to see people like him you know and how they uh, how they work but also working with like sam you know he's become a, an extremely good friend now and and getting to you know have that chemistry and stuff on set and be like his uh, a best mate relationship in mm -hmm. in uh, a world where there's danger you know that's that's fun to to play with as as actors well, our time is always so short. Uh, thanks for talking with me. Come back out to uh, to Salt Lake. I'd love to catch up with you, buy you a cup of coffee. As soon as they allow me to travel, I will be there, my friend. I love Salt Lake. We we miss you too. Thank you, and and congratulations on on the new film. It's it's really a lot of fun to watch. Great, thanks so much, Tony.